Welcome to the Land Geek Podcast, your resource for information and tips to making money by buying and selling land. Let the Land Geek show you how to make a passive income by working smart, not working hard. Learn strategies and tricks to make money buying and selling raw land today. And here is the man that's going to help you do that, the Land Geek. Hey, it's Mark Podolsky, the Land Geek, with your favorite niche real estate land website, www.thelandgeek.com. Land Geek Nation, I hope you've had some caffeine because we're going to have a great podcast today because I was able to rope in Duran Frazier from landhub.com, reserveland.com. I was able to bribe him to actually podcast with me on his seven-year anniversary, and stay away from the waves. Duran, what's up, buddy? <laughs> hey, uh, Mark, you know, if you weren't going to cheer, I was going to cheer for myself. Um, yes, I, I am on my, it's my seven-year anniversary today. What's, so what's the secret? The secret sauce is keep your head in a swivel at all times. <laughs> And, and I'm just kidding, but, but all, <laughs> <laughs> I'm you had your head on I'm, a swivel. Oh, I'm kidding. No, you know, but but honestly, it, it, it kind of is like that because um, you, you never want to let your guard down in terms of how you should be treating your wife. Um, I feel like you know, like a business, you know, I'm always you have to be involved in a relationship and uh, and always proactive and not complacent and. Um, my wife and I have a very, very, very good relationship, and I think it's all about just you know making sure that that we uh, we meet each other's needs. Yeah, and it's maybe she's I don't know. I mean, maybe you put something in her in her drinks or something. And uh -huh. I do. I, I do. don't. I, I don't I, because like you know you're a great sense. guy, but come on, yeah. really? I know. Yeah, no. I, I she's really she's really lucky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, 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 what are you guys gonna do tonight? Are you gonna, are you gonna yeah, go out, just, La Costa? We, we spent the weekend at a at a surf contest up in Huntington Beach, the U.S. Open of surfing. Um, my wife wanted to just go check that out because she'd never been up there before. So we went up there, and then we spent all day yesterday in Laguna Beach, just walking at the beach, walking on the beach. I was swimming in the ocean, doing a little body surfing um, with, with and, the boys. Uh, no, no, no. We had the weekend off, oh, so okay. my my mom was watching the kids worked out well that's great that's great well listen congratulations thank you thank that's, you i really appreciate it it's yeah I, that's fine i guess in this day and age it's a big feat for seven years but uh you know i look at it as uh you know it's a commitment i made to my wife for the rest of our lives so i'll, I'll tell you um, you know relationships are tough and uh, i was just talking to uh one of my coaching clients about it and you know every day i'll send my wife a text telling her you know something specific that i appreciate about her it's like a garden Right, you gotta constantly tend to it every single yeah, day, and, every, and the same thing with marketing to your customers in in your land sales. You've got to treat that list like a garden, and you well, gotta let me appreciate talk, them. Let, let, I, I okay, let's just talk about what you just said, Mark. Okay, that, doesn't those texts? I mean, don't at some point don't those texts kind of get a little stagnant? Like, I mean, well, you know, it's, it's, it's first of all, it's not like I don't infuse any personality into it. It's not like thank you for doing the laundry today. You know, okay. I mean, it's it's something specific. It's like I'm I'm funny about it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because you're not funny generally, so that's weird that in a text. She, you, you know, funny. yeah, it's true. I'm not funny, but she finds me funny. That's okay. Why well, she's that's, to me. that's okay. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I agree. No, I'm just kidding. But 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 like you said, in 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 regards to marketing, the more the the more we market, um, and and the. And the worse we are at engaging the crowd, uh, the worse it becomes. Like you know, right. if you we, we do the same thing over and over and over again, and 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 not change it, um, just like a marriage, um, things will dwindle and fall apart. So, right, right. So th th this is this is my my marketing tip. When you start building your list, right, the number one rule is never, ever, ever be boring. Take a stand on something. I don't care what it is. I don't care. But be controversial. If you're not, if you're not literally uh, offending someone, you're not working hard enough. And because you've, you've got to take a stand somewhere, and 
And when you take a stand, you're going to offend somebody, and it's not for them, which is great. So it's not for everybody. Land isn't for everybody. So you've got to, you know, draw your line in the sand and market to your list in that way and be engaging and have something that's creative or fun or funny. It doesn't matter what it is. Intriguing, controversial, and but stay on top of it. So, you, you know, you'll go to these websites and someone will blog. Oh, hold on, hold on, Mike. Before you go there, I want to just give you a good example of that. Like, I'm very controversial. Like, I have friends that have children, but they're not married. So I'll go to my friends, hey, how's your wife? And they get so angry with me. And I'm like, why are you so mad? And they say, <laughs> said, are you, are you, you know being I, serious? I said, are you making totally, this up? Totally spaced it. You did the carriage before the horse. Um, so I, I, I get it. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> But anyway, so I'm, I'm just teasing. I just had to throw that one in there. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's true. Like, I mean, do you, are you blogging at all? I, I, way too much. For, for reserve land or land hub? What, what are you blogging for? A L- little bit of everything. I mean, I, I, I like to write. So I just, um, I just find, finished writing a piece for the magazine that's going to be printed this, uh, the next couple of days. So Which, which magazine? Uh, 4L magazine. Okay. What's yeah. their, their, like for San Diego hipsters, right? What is that for? You know, you know what? Just because I wear super tight skinny jeans and I'm <laughs> and I'm overweight, there's no reason why. <laughs> <laughs> and I wear black makeup. There's nothing wrong with that. There's Again, nothing wrong. I'm not judging. There's a call to action. You know, I'm yeah. I'm calling out for for help, emotional and help. I have needs and I want to. <laughs> so. So no, it's a magazine. It's a magazine. Uh, it's it's that kind of a men's health, fitness, fashion, business. Um, it's not emo uh, for you know hipsters. Right. Uh, I'm just kidding. It's it, it really is uh, just a cool magazine for San Diego. It's like if you come to San Diego, you want you want to know what the good restaurants are to go to. Uh, every month we kind of have like a it's called Mikey's Beats and Eats. Uh, just kind of like a really cool section about different restaurants and highlighting food and different places to go to stay in shape. So. Outdoor activities, that kind of stuff. And, but my article this month was social network security. Social network security? I've never heard of it. Did you just okay. make up this this like catchphrase? I, of course I did. Social network security. All right, explain what that is. Okay, so you know what social network is. I know and, what a social network is. Let, let's you know, say, for you know, example, Facebook. Know, hold on. And you know what network security is? I know what network security is. Okay, now. Wait, social- I, think I, I think I know what network security is. I'm... Like, oh, a like, password, secure, like a password? Like securing your network. Sure. Password. Like a virtual password. private okay. network? For whatever. Hide your IP address? Sure. Okay. So the article just basically discusses sort of sort of protecting your social network. So go figure the catchphrase is social network security. Sort of protecting your social network by 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 knowing who you're talking to, which Facebook knowing who you're engaging. Um, LinkedIn, know who you're engaging and know who your contacts are. Know why people want to connect with you and what you can help them do and what they can help you do. So I don't, I have people that will contact me or connect with me. Um, and funny, funny enough, because this podcast, I get quite a few LinkedIn requests each week. And if they're, if they're, if they're podcast requests, I, I'll accept them just simply because, um, because I, 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 a lot of people give you know nice feedback, and I appreciate that. But ordinarily speaking, if it's just somebody asking to to you know connect with me, but if I don't know who they are, I won't connect with them because I don't know what the value is for me to have you in my network. If that really? makes sense. See, I'm all about the numbers, man. I want to have a yes. lot of people in my network. Wow. I don't care that's, if I know you're not. That's pathetic. Why so is that I, pathetic? Are you serious? That's are you business? Joking? Are you joking? Or are you serious? I'm not. I'm, I'm not joking. I'm serious. But but why, why would I why would I not want to have a contact on LinkedIn? What what seriously? Yeah. What what's the harm? What it's not what's the harm? It's knowing your network. How can if you need to go find somebody in that network and you and you research and you find out Bob Johnson is in your network, but you you just know that Bob wanted to connect with you. You have no clue why. But what's the point? What's the point in having that connection if you well, really I, don't? I can assume they want to connect with me because they're interested in real estate. They're in, some, in, in land investing. Yeah, see, I guess my problem is I'm so broad that who knows what they want. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, don't have different LinkedIn accounts then. Uh, have one for land, have one for startups. 
So I, I disagree with you because I believe that it's really important to kind of harness your network and know who's in your network so that you can utilize them because too many people is a problem. Too many people is a problem. You've got a big network. How can you have too many people in the network? That's the whole point of a network is have a big not, net. But you, but you got to know them. Hey, you these are my know. three best friends. I mean, we're not going to talk to anyone else unless we completely know you. We've done a full background check on you. That's not it's what I'm a, It's a network. But, but how can you I, – I believe – I truly believe that if you have somebody in your – like a Facebook friend. Oh, they're really, your, I'm sure they're real close friends of yours on Facebook. Every one of them I know well. No, you don't. Everyone except for – Duran, come on. Mark, you're, you're going to tell the podcast listeners, you know, every single person on Facebook that you're engaging, you know, well, yes, I just, come on. How many, how many yes. Facebook friends do you have? Five, seven. <laughs> okay. That makes sense then. That's not true. I have over, I don't know, five or 600 friends, but yeah, I do. No, okay. That right there. There's no way you can stay in touch with over 500 people. I it's don't have impossible. to stay in touch. I, but listen, I don't stay in touch with them, but I know them. You don't know right. them. How, how do you? How can you say that? Because to I me? Know, I know the numbers. I think you I don't think, know. I do know. I I've trust me. Like after a certain number, we can't ever communicate anymore with that outside of that number within our tribe. We just can't. We okay. don't have the time. You're right. But what I'm trying to explain to you is that if I went to if I went to high school with a guy and I remember and I know him well from high school, and every six months or a year we we jump on the phone and chat for five minutes, he's a buddy. I know him, and I can call him still. He'd be like, "Hey, how are you?" How can I help you? What can we oh, do? Okay, well, I, right, okay, right there, we're gonna we're gonna disagree. I mean, that? you talk to somebody five, for five minutes; they're not a buddy to me. Okay, but they're, it's somebody. But it's somebody I can. It's a contact, with. and they could be in your LinkedIn network, and that's great. But let's not call them a buddy. I'm not calling these people that I don't know buddies. I'm calling them possible networking people, and possible, perhaps what, perhaps they like what I what I'm providing. Possible is a key word. What I'm saying is. Is that I like to know. I like to know that I can either help somebody or they can help me. Yeah, but how do you know? Why, why are you excluding people you don't know? But it's. But I don't want to play. I'm not here to play a numbers game. I don't have a very big LinkedIn network, just so you know. Yeah. So that I I, I think you're missing out on potential opportunities. You never. Okay. So let's let's say let's take it to a physical realm. Okay. If you're, the guy you're, okay, you're, if, let's, let's go to let's go to a physical conference. You don't. You don't. You only know maybe two or three people. At the conference, okay? Someone comes up to you, Dran, I really like your podcast. My name's Joe. At that point, you're not going to extend your hand, shake Joe's hand and say, thanks, Joe. Hey, what do you do? Why are you listening to the podcast? And have a conversation with them? Me? You're going you're gonna to snub them? I don't know you, Joe. Thanks. I mean, I'm, are you going to stop the conversation right there? At a physical 100%. conference. Hundred percent. I'm gonna go you give him a big a, hug. Then you're lying. I'm gonna give him a big hug, and I'm gonna say, you know what, dude? I really appreciate that because that's the way I that's the way I roll. You would just turn the other cheek and walk away. So for me, oh my, <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's so what you, I'm saying. Like, that's you, what, that, but that's you, that's you, an you example say, of why I have everyone in LinkedIn. I don't care if you, I know you or don't know you. Hey, Joe. Just like at a conference, friends? I'm gonna have you in my my network. Hey, Joe. Tell all your friends. Tell all your friends to join my LinkedIn. We'll have a big party. You know, that's the problem is that you got to be able to control your network. Control your network? You can't control your network. Sure you can. How can you control your network? That's just like saying I'm going to a conference and I'm going to control everybody that I'm going to meet. Some people I'm going to meet at the conference, I'm not going to probably hit it off with. Some people I will, but I'm going to talk to everybody. But, you know, you're a marketing machine. That's called networking. You're a marketing machine. For me, I have some private stuff on my LinkedIn. I don't want everybody seeing. Then take it off your LinkedIn account. It doesn't belong there in the first to. place. It's to network. I can't believe you. You you are hilarious right now. I can't believe you. You're, you Just say you agree. Just say, you know what, Mark? I never thought about it like that. You're probably right. And we can move on. You know, it's funny. I've never heard that argument. I've always heard in defense of mine, like, you know, I understand that makes makes sense. Like, like I want to be able to like have somebody that's in my ne my network that I can leverage, and yeah, I may know John Johnson at 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 uh, you know Stevenson Biotech, but I don't know John Johnson just because he's in my network doesn't mean I know him. I don't know him, so how can I leverage that? Bam! 
you get you lost, Mark. That's not true. You know yes. what you do? Hey, I see you're in my network, and you can see on LinkedIn how their network, how they know you, and you could go to the middle guy, right? So you've got a third level connection. There's someone in between. You email the person in between and say, "Hey, would you mind making this introduction for me?" Boom. But he goes right. I'm, that's right. Now I'm, you're I'm, now you've got a, now you you've got bro, an introduction. Lame. That's called you're networking. Lame. Bro, I'm your Alan Geek. Why on earth would I connect you with a guy? I don't know who you are. I just heard a podcast one day. You sounded pretty funny, but I don't know you. So I, I'm sorry, but I can't make that introduction. How are you going to get to know someone unless you network with them? That's how you get to know people. But you don't you know. You in a bubble. You know, yeah, you're right. You don't know. But you, that's why you have to network. That's why you talk to everybody. But, that's see, I why when I go to a conference, I, I, I talk to everybody. I don't, believe, I don't believe that connecting on LinkedIn is – is networking. What is it? It's it's people that are bored and like to just click, 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 click. Well, I'll tell you what. Those people who are bored that like to click, 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 they're getting a lot of jobs through the click, oh. click, clicking. Because uh, <laughs> my buddy is, was telling me in corporate America, that's how he's, that's how people get jobs now. Is this, It's all through networking. You can't send a cold resume anymore to an HR department. And think you're going to get a job. But what you can do is use your network and that person will send an email to their buddy in HR and say I'm you should interview Duran. That. I'm not denying that. But you're telling me that the guy that you've got on your LinkedIn network that you don't know, that you just accidentally right. pushed, let's connect, that I'm going to call him and say, hey, dude, can you, you are connected to to Bill Gates at Microsoft and I want you to email Bill for me and let him know that I'm going to apply for a job. You know what that guy's going to say? I don't know who you are, bro. We're just LinkedIn connections. That's the problem, Mark. I don't see the problem at all. I see, I see a, a way to engage where I didn't have a way to engage before. I don't see a problem at all. And you know what? And let's relate this to our land investing business, right? You can yeah. put up ads on LinkedIn. You can sell property. I see it all, all the time. You can join groups on LinkedIn and advertise your land for sale. Okay. And so the bigger your network, the more people that you're approaching for land sales. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, again, I think you see you see that a little bit differently than I do. I mean, that's that's a, that's kind of an open market. Because I like to sell land to people. Yeah, no, but that's <laughs> I mean, not that's not true. That's not true. I totally disagree. Lord, so, happy anniversary. Thanks. So I um I, I so what I'm trying to figure out is exactly how how do you um, how do you see, I mean, how do you see the parallel between you on a group opening up yourself to multiple people and, and your, your LinkedIn network? How do you see those two work, work in parallel? Do you see them? Like, do they work together? I don't understand. Do understand? I don't understand the okay. question. Okay. The, the, the way, the way that you market to a group and, and, and you as a, as a business to a consumer, our marketing. Do you not? Do you see a? You see similarities between that and your network? And, no. And no. I, okay. Those are completely bifurcated, right? I'll join a real estate group that I will market my land to because I know definitively that those people are interested in real estate. I will correct. network. I'll say, hey, Duran and I are having an event in October in Scottsdale. Come. And go to our event and meet us face to face. That's you know, for my, and that's for my looking, network. And they're all looking for you. But if you're if they're on a LinkedIn connection and they're nothing to do with land or nothing to do with what you do. But why but why are they connecting with me if they don't want to talk about real estate or land? There's because, no reason to connect with me otherwise. Because people do that. You don't think people just randomly click connect? I I if they do then I don't understand why anybody would look at Mark Podolsky, Frontier Properties, or the Land Geek and randomly want to connect with me unless okay, they're interested I, in those things. Here's the difference between you and I too is that my LinkedIn page, my page says investor, uh, you know, business consultant. So I kind of have a like a varied range. So when you say investor, everybody wants to be your friend. Right. So right. I guess yeah. in, in my situation, so you were you and I are completely different. Um, at some level, like if I was just selling land, I sort of, sort of get it that everybody's coming to you just for land. I still don't buy it, 
but but um well you know, I, get, I get realtors who want to who want to connect i get bankers i get a, i get a diverse group of people yeah yeah no i i again I don't, also, I don't really know them but yeah they want to connect so so, I, so why I, not yeah see and maybe maybe i'm completely wrong but i sort of want to know how i can help them or how they can help me before i let them into my network okay so do you then respond to them most of the time, yes. Oh, okay. So you didn't say that. So what do they, do they ever respond back? No, <laughs> they don't. Okay. So you think so? Based on that, then. Yeah, you're, I mean that's that's all. And you're I'll giving them that, a barrier to entry, basically. Yeah, and all I and going back to what I read, this is hilarious that we all we started a twenty minute argument based on based on social network security. But what what the article just talks about is sort of um, how Facebook has sort of changed the algorithm, and and forced you and I to sort of market as if we were a business, meaning we as people have to engage the crowd. We have to engage our friends. And the way that Facebook works now is if your posts are not engaging, they won't be seen. I think, okay? that's, I think that's great. Yes, how I many, agree. Yeah. I'm a, how many, how many cat gifts can I look at in a day? Yeah. And I've, I, look, I get frustrated, you know, like, Hey, I just went poop an hour ago. Great. That's amazing. Right. And I'm having, I'm having quinoa and, you know, and, you know, <laughs> yeah. Salad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just finished doing the laundry. Now going out with the kids. <laughs> like, yeah, oh, awesome. thrilling. Go get, a, go get a Twitter out, Twitter account. Cause I don't care. Yeah. Um, and those are that, that, that is probably solving a big problem, but, but at the same time, it kind of makes you think a little bit about how, how and what you say when you say it. Um, which kind of stinks, right? Because you kind of sometimes just want to say things that may not be super engaging. But that's but what I'm saying. Let, let's, let, well, let's go back to the very beginning of this of the podcast was never be boring. It's a simple exactly. rule. Never yep. be boring. And I, Facebook I is, is and Facebook is saying, if you're boring, we're not going to show you. Yeah. Yeah. Take, take so, a stand. Yeah. So that's that's in a, in a nutshell. That's what I wrote about. Um, so, it, you know, going going back to you said, do I blog? That's uh, a little piece that I that I wrote, but uh, um, so I, I like to. I don't know about you, Mark. Do you write a lot or not really? I'm getting, I'm going back to it. I mean, I do more videos, obviously, with the coffee talk. I think you know what I think. I'm, I'm and, you know getting back to that rule. I'm looking at those coffee talk videos. They're pretty boring. They're two to three minute little bite sized tidbits of information, but they're boring. Yeah. I mean, I think they're boring. I, I think this is more informative, and engaging. And I'd rather you and I could do a, a Google Hangout together and do a coffee talk, just the two of us, and maybe two or three minutes tidbit together than just me talking to the video camera and, and doing that. I think that's more engaging, more informative. Same content, probably, yeah. but just a little bit more informative and, and getting a different perspective, right? Totally. I mean, you get, you get a crazy guy like me, and then you get a really – boring guy like you together um <laughs> it's, you know, like, it's like chocolate and peanut butter it's insane it's insane <laughs> it's it's just a great combination oh boy so anyway it's like uh it's like barack obama and george bush hanging out together oh no don't bring up the politics i'm not i'm not saying anything i'm not saying anything. all right the fact that you're super conservative and i'm so super liberal i mean i don't know what you have a problem with i don't i'm not super either <laughs> I'm right in the middle, like most Americans. I'm, I'm just physically easy. conservative, I'm, socially I'm, liberal. I'm not super liberal. I'm kidding. I, of course, I'm, you're not social. Yeah, <laughs> and everyone who knows you knows that. <laughs> so anyway, um, let's go right, back. So yeah, so yeah, so getting back to it. So so, yeah. so blogging. I mean, I, I think it's important. I'm I'm blogging more, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the coffee talk videos. I'm going to transcribe them and make those into uh, blog posts. So I'll take the content that I already have there and just kind of repurpose it. I like it. I like it. Yeah. And, um, you know, ABM, always be marketing. Exactly. Exactly. I, um, I was going to, I was going to tell you that uh, we plan on actually doing, maybe doing a little road trip, uh, to buy some land next week. Well, actually in two weeks. Where are you buying? So, uh, maybe, maybe Arizona and New Mexico. Wow. I can't tell you my secrets though, Mark. You can tell me. <laughs> Hey, you oh, know, speaking of secrets, how's how's this going with that pay per click ad on Facebook for lead gen? Was no, it, was com it, no comment. No, I can't talk about it. Come on, dude! I can't tell you my secrets. You, you don't tell me the secrets. Just tell me 
was it worthwhile? A hundred percent. It was a hundred percent worthwhile. I mean, it was worthwhile. Yes. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Give it, no, give, have, it, give, it, give it, give it, give give the listeners a little I love here. Can't, I can't divulge all. You don't tell. You don't divulge anything. Just say it was it's, worth the effort to do it, Facebook ads. It was worth the effort to do Facebook ads. Okay. Is that anything else you need to know? Did you sell? Any, did you sell any land? <laughs> yes. You did. How yes. long did it take? You know what? Stop now. Now you want? Oh, what are you going to build a predictive analytic? You know. My, I, I am going to bring. I am going to build a predictive analytical model. Based on, based on your Facebook ads, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna. So, you know what? I'm gonna do the same thing, anyways. But I, yes. I'm gonna be more generous than you, and I'm gonna do a screencast and show everybody what I'm doing. Perfect. I like it. I like it. So, Mark, because I, I, I already know your niche. You don't have a clue. I you do. Have no I, clue. Cor- oh yeah, I know. My, you're I am so the, you're so imaginative. No, I'll never no, guess. I'm the land ninja. No one knows me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're at that point in the podcast. I'm going to put you on the spot. What is your tip of the week? My tip of the week is a website you probably have never heard of. It's it's unbelievable. It's yeah. a social network. It's called Facebook.com. If you haven't gone to Facebook, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> There's only a billion people on. You know, if Facebook were a country, it'd be the third largest country. Oh, that's pathetic. It's um, true. That's absolutely pathetic, Mark. Um, my tip of the week, Mark. Um, I'm. I'm. Uh, you go ahead. <laughs> you know. You know your tip of the week. I don't have it. I'm, oh, I'm, I've got Duran. <laughs> Duran's got his his uh, his anniversary on his mind. Exactly. Why don't you give us a marriage tip? Uh, keep your head in a swivel. <laughs> keep your head on a swivel. That's from Anchorman, isn't it? I don't know. I have no clue. Um, no, I, I, I would, if I was to give a marriage tip, gosh, I don't know. I would just say, uh, uh, you know, always, always, always be looked to get, give back to your wife and, and always, always be like marketing. Always, always look to do something different and be creative. Um, right. don't be boring. I, I, don't be boring for, for our, it kind of fell through, but I, here was my plan for our anniversary. We were going to fly in a helicopter, um, from Long Beach to Catalina. We were going to do zip lining. We were going to do all sorts of crazy stuff um, um, in Catalina Island and then come home on, so go for one day and come home on Sunday. So it was, that was going to be our, our uh, and she had no clue. It was a surprise. It kind of fell through a couple of things. It, they were all booked by the time we tried to book the room. So it, uh, but, but that was, she was really excited. And, and so those are the kind of things I've always been like when I mark my proposal story, I was, I, I did it in Times Square on a billboard. I, I'm yeah, always trying awesome. to think of creative ways to do things, but but women love that, right? I mean, you can't. Keep, I mean, a marriage cannot be boring. So right, and it's, yeah, so it all comes back to your marketing. It's all marketing. Exactly. Life is marketing. Yeah. Marriage is marketing. Yeah, and there's actually a book. You know, funny. I, I don't know if you ever knew this, Mark, but um, I don't know if it's called Groom, uh, Grooms to Be. Um, uh, I don't know what it was, but there's a book that somebody actually wrote. Um, and, and in that, in that book was my whole story of how I proposed to my wife. At, no at kidding. Time. Yeah. That's so your, that could be your tip of the week. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So you tell, you, I'll find it while you discuss your tip of the week. All right. My tip of the week is going to be very basic and it is, I think you should start doing Google Hangouts, right? Or watch Duran and I do our Google Hangout. So we're going to record them and you can actually go live on air, I think. We'll do that too if you want to actually be on the Google Hangout. I don't know how it's going to work, but we're going to start doing Google Hangouts. Anyways, for marketing purposes, I think Google Hangouts can be a fantastic way for you and a bunch of other people to discuss your land, land investing, show it off, whatever it is, and uh, and record it, put it up on YouTube, have your keywords, have a good description, and a nice call to action, and uh, yeah. and use it and leverage it. Leverage the technology, and the best part about it, it's free, and it's super easy. I mean, I've got an expensive $1,000 video camera and tripod and all this equipment. You don't even need that. Just use your computer's, uh, what's it called, uh, camera. It's good enough. And yeah, uh, that- and just don't be boring. That's it. That's my tip of the week. Yeah. 
You know what? I just changed. That was such a bad tip of the week that I'm gonna I'm gonna say something that's even way cooler than what Mark just said. If you want a phone that works well and you're sick of your cell phone, use Google Voice. Sign up for an account today. Free phone number. Talk over your computer. Google Voice allows you to get a number. You can even port your cell phone number. If you've got an office number, port it over and get Google Voice. And you can also use a company called Ring Central if you want to create a line. We haven't talked about this, have we, Mark? Well, you know, I, we have talked about Ring Central. Gosh, okay. Well, but that's okay. I, it's I, I think Ring Central is great. Okay, so that uh, that I so Google Voice is actually pretty cool. Um, so I I seem to um, have a problem problem finding the book that I was mentioned in. <laughs> <laughs> it meant a lot to you. <laughs> 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 I've got it downstairs somewhere, but uh, anyway. There, there's an author right now, you know, curled up in the fetal position crying. Yes. Uh, oh, know. okay. I've, I've got it. It's called The Groom's, The Groom to Be, The Groom to Be's Handbook, The Ultimate Guide to a Fabulous Ring, a Memorable Proposal, and a Perfect Wedding something. I'm not sure what. Um, and it's it's got rave reviews. There's no one that's ever reviewed it. But I'm in it. So if you <laughs> <laughs> There you go. There's your 15 minutes. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So anyway, Mark, well, hey, thanks for uh, having me on your show today. I appreciate it. Dran, thank you so much. And uh, listen, if you want to learn more about Dran, go to landhub.com, sign up, or go to reserveland.com, get a, get some wholesale land. If Dran doesn't have any wholesale land for you, check out my site, frontierpropertiesusa.com. Always, always go to the landgeek.com and download the Passive Income Blueprint. Get the ebook. How to avoid the three fatal land buying mistakes and get this always informative and engaging podcast delivered each week to your email inbox. Dran, are we good? I was kind of, I was kind of hard on you a little bit today. Yeah, I've never seen you like that. You have, I, I mean, you know, you could have been my second cup of coffee. Made me a little, made me a little irritable. You've got some anger. It's okay. It's okay because you know what? I deal with anger every day. Um, you know, I put out fires constantly, so I get it. But it's okay. You know, it wasn't. I wasn't angry. I, I just wanted to challenge you. I wanted to challenge your thinking. I, th I, I think and, that's good. And you're wrong. So, anyways, hey yeah, guys, yeah, yeah. Think... I mean, clearly, I was wrong. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah. um, well, thanks for having me on the show, Mark, and uh, look forward to chatting again next week. Thanks, Dre. Thanks, Talk everybody. You. Bye. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for listening to another episode of The Land Geek. Join us next time for more tips, secrets, and information that will help you succeed. Stay connected with The Land Geek on Facebook at facebook.com slash thelandgeek.